Debate is heating up in the U.S. over possible military action against Syrian President Bashar al-Assad. After U.S. President Obama said he would seek the approval of Congress, some observers criticized the move. It has encouraged our enemies. It has discouraged our allies. I am most worried about the effect on both Iran and Israel. And the Iranians, obviously, are near euphoric, as is Bashar Assad. And our Israeli friends are very worried now about the steadfastness and commitment of the United States of America concerning the acquisition of nuclear weapons by Iran. However, others, like U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry, who spoke on Fox News, have backed the president's move. This is a smart decision by the president. I think it's a courageous decision. He is not trying to create uh, uh, an imperial presidency. He's trying to respect the the, the process by which we are strongest in this country. But, but sir, and, if and I, I think if Congress I, and the American may... people should welcome this. With American officials saying they have evidence that Syrian President Bashar al-Assad's forces used deadly sarin gas last month, the impetus to launch an intervention is growing. When congressional leaders reconvene on September 9th, they will face their biggest foreign policy vote since the Iraq war. In my mind, it's, it's far from settled. It's is, uh, not something that should be undertaken lightly. Um, certainly the mood at the district that I represent is do not do this. and. I honestly didn't hear anything that uh, told me I ought to have a different position. Obama will likely face further intense debate in the coming days, though as Commander-in-Chief, he could go ahead with military action in Syria, even without Congress's approval. Officials in Damascus and Iran, meanwhile, warn that any such intervention risks provoking regional war.